Hello guys, welcome to the channel of Birth and Bosses with Felicia and I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I am having a great, great day. I wanted to take a few moments to stop by guys and make a beautiful gift basket with you guys. I am in the process of getting my um, basket stockpile, my gift basket inventory um, loaded up for the upcoming holidays okay so i normally i know a lot of people's big holidays are christmas and i make quite a bit of money on christmas but this year i want to amp up the game a little bit so everything that i designed last year i did sell so i said well this year i always challenge myself not just challenge you guys but i challenge myself as well and whatever I did the year before, I always make sure that I try to supersede it in the year coming. So this Christmas coming, I want to make sure that I have um, way, way more inventory than I normally have. And guys, I also tell you on this channel that everything that you do does not have to be Christmas related. Okay, it doesn't have to look like Christmas. It doesn't have to smell like Christmas. It could just be a really, really nice gift. Okay that they can use for any day of the week doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. So this particular basket, we have done lavender. <laughs> I know a lot of you love the color purple. A lot of you love the lavender scent. And we've done that quite a few times on this channel. So we are going to be creating another lavender basket, guys. And I'm just going to be incorporating um, a green with it just to kind of give it a more holiday feel um so that it doesn't look um just like an everyday basket but it could be really for either or okay so everything that you see here i got from dollar tree and dollar general so this is my first time mentioning this on this channel but let me tell y'all yardley is doing it up okay between dollar general and dollar tree yardley is doing it up so I found this Yardley um, English Lavender Hand Soap at Dollar General, and I also found this body spray, dot, body spray at Dollar General as well, guys. And this actually came from the Dollar Tree. Now they do sell this at Dollar General, and if you can get it from there, make sure that you do for a dollar, but they normally don't have this actual scent. But they're starting to get in more scents and different things um, from Yardley, so definitely be on the lookout, okay? And I want to let you guys know that Yardley does not stay in Dollar General long, okay? And especially with it being $1 instead of $125, you definitely want to make sure that you keep a look out. All of the Dollar Generals here in my city have been getting these items in little bit by little bit. So make sure that you keep your eyes open. If it's not in your Dollar General, it will be very soon. What I'm doing now, I just took off the... Um, the tie that's already already on the potpourri i took that off and i'm just putting some um raffia here just to give it a different little look okay just giving it a different little look we're just going to tie a regular little bow up there and we're going to stick it right up there okay and this actual container i'm pretty sure you already have guessed it came from dollar general um, this is one of the brown dot boxes that are 70% off. Guys, go ahead and be on the lookout. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. I know I've told you guys this several times and it has not happened yet, but I am so looking forward to the brown dot going to 90% off. They have been doing a little something different at Dollar General. I don't quite know what they got going on, um, but you usually could, you know, pinpoint when their items are going from one percentage to another. But here lately, you have not been able to do that. So I don't know if it's affected by the pandemic or what the actual reasoning is, but we have not, as shoppers, been able to predict Dollar General as we used to could. So just keep your eyes open. Just know that any given Tuesday, it may um, go to 90% off. And I'm definitely gonna try to let you guys know ahead of time before okay, it goes. So now we're just going to get everything taped down to where it needs to be. Once you're comfortable with the place setting of your items, then go ahead and start taping the items down, okay? And this particular basket, I normally use shrink wrap, but for this one, this one, we're going to be using actual cellophane wrap, okay? Both are great for your baskets. Once you learn how to properly um, wrap cellophane, 
it will give you the exact, well, I'm gonna say the exact, cause it's nothing, if it's not the same thing, it's not gonna be exact. But it will give you the same feel as the um, shrink wrap, okay? It's not gonna be as tight. For those of you that are new following me, I always teach to only use shred to fill in gaps and holes, okay? Never use shred to build a foundation for your baskets. For one, it's not sturdy enough, and number two, it's a waste of money. Use newspaper, recycled paper to um, stuff in the bottom of your baskets, okay? And when you use it just to fill in, you only use a little bit versus using a whole bag, okay? So there we have the shred packed in the holes. And we're just going to use this little purple flower. I could have put it on the outside. But we're just going to stick it right there on the inside. And we're going to now proceed with wrapping. And you can measure by putting your basket down and put your cellophane up under and wrap it. But being that I've been doing baskets for so many years, I can just eye it without having to, um, you know, without having to actually put it on the basket. 